Hey, welcome back to Derriere's. This is just a thing I'm doing during the day, so I thought I'd go ahead and video it for you. We've got issues here. We've got major issues. We've got these boogers back here. They keep ending up in the yard. I've got half the chickens in the trees back here. You can see them down below. Some of them just came out. They keep coming out. Um, I just ordered some netting really fast. We're going to throw it up, and I think I'm going to put some jute at the top there just to keep them down in after we get them in there. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I can get them all back in or not, but they've been doing this since Thanksgiving, and I'm just not going to have it anymore because Virgil was out in the road, so we can't have that. I don't know if you guys know who Virgil is, but he's my chocolate uh, turkey. Here, I'll let, you, I'll let you see him. There's Virgil. <laughs> he's the one. He's the good boy. The other two are Henri. He's getting all fluffed up there. Anyway, so we are going to put some uh, netting over the top of this run here. And then I'm going to put some jute down at this end. And we'll see if we can maybe contain them in there, or keep them from jumping out as much. So we're going to do that so real just quick. Just so you know, this is usually when a good day goes bad. Because my husband and I don't work well together on projects. Just so you know. So God only knows what will happen here. <laughs> You'll see it all. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I ordered this stuff. It's just bird netting. I think it's 12 feet by 12 feet. Doesn't even, yeah, 12 and a half feet by 12 and a half feet. There you go. Anyway, it's like this. Um, we're going to put that up on the run part and then put this jute up on the other part and see how this goes. I don't know. Never can tell. What is it, Virgil? He's got a lot to say today. I think he's aggravated. I think he knows what's coming. Although, these turkeys have never um, come after me or nothing. I mean, they're always good. People always say you should not turn your back to turkeys and stuff, but heck, we've never had any trouble here. Okay, so I'm going to try to use zip ties and put these in place and uh, see if I can do this. We'll see. I don't know. We will see what we can see. Okay, I think I'll start at that end and go from there. So I'll turn it this way a little bit. roosting on top of the fence at night. I don't know why. They've got a whole house in there they could go into, but they're not doing it. So we got to do something. And we've got um, eagles here, and we have a lot of hawks. And I'm just not willing to lose my little ruby. I'll show you a picture of her in a little bit. But, oh, the turkeys are going to go check out everything out there, I guess. All right. I'm going to weave this through here a couple times so it's more sturdy and won't rip so easy. We'll see if we can get this done. Okay. I want to get this job done. I'm looking to retire out here. Hold that. watch this when the snow comes because it'll get heavy so I might have to cut it by then but also by then I might have another situation going to help work this out On this side first to get the majority of it over here going and hooked up because these dirty birds will be through here in no time flat probably okay 
I'll go through both sides of the fence. I know they're going to hate it, but that's the way it goes. Um, Got to keep them in. I don't want something killing my birds. So, just do what we can do while we can do what we can do. Let's make it work for now. You hear him. <laughs> Virgil's got a lot to say. A lot. Boy, this thing is like not wanting to pull. Hope it doesn't rip. Oh. Okay. I'm having to do it about every two feet or so. That's okay. That's okay. Got to make do with what you got, people. I'm not buying a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to use later, so this is what we're doing for now. so much on just the one. Since we're kind of in the middle here. All right. Okay. Sit down a little bit there, bud. We have got the nosiest neighbors ever. Yeah, stop right there in the corner, being nosy, seeing what we were up to. It happens all the time. It's crazy. People are so nosy. Okay, I want to go back to that side real fast. Let's go over here. Hopefully this will work, you guys, because I'm over it. Over these guys getting out. So very over. I think I'm gonna go through this one twice too, because it's getting down to the nitty gritty. There we go. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay. Just gotta watch this stuff when it snows. It'll really stretch and pull the fence in. So we gotta watch that. if you can see it but it's getting done it's working so far so if we can get the other end looking decent we'll be good to go okay this fence ends here so I'm gonna put this here through there so it fixes it to it really good Woo. okay all right that's done now I need to get that hammer or screw and nail or whatever did you get it yeah I think I'm gonna put it right here on the well I got this one I could just use it I'll just do that one. I hate to use another uh, screw or nail if I don't need to. So that's what I'm going to do. 
um, but this is shut. I think I'll do it like, yeah, I'll take that other screw. Just, I'm gonna put it up here, I think. That way we can actually open the door and shut the door and it'll still be attached. That's the thought anyway. And if you could grab me one more of those um, things down there. That's good. Okay. There's that. And then put the door shut. And that goes there. So I will put a few of these here. Like so. That way we can hook it on there and unhook it easy. I'm just going to hook that on there like that. Um, shut this. I'm going to tighten this up. There we go. Tighten this one up. There we go. That's good. These can go back in the thing. I'm going to put this. Take those. I don't need those. I'm going to put this here guys I'm always coming up with some jacked up way of doing something but it ends up working so whatever works this will do for a little while until we get things situated all right there we go all right now for the inside I'm going to start uh, putting this to this thing here and I'm just kind of uh, making like a spider web. We'll take this off while I'm doing it. Wrapping it around here like this and going to the next spot. Just trying to make a web here so they don't come jumping out anymore. Okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty already. I think I can. Yes, I can. All right, I'm gonna put that up there like so. Take that, and run it through there, like that. All right, hold it tight. That's good enough. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so I'm getting it done, but uh, we got to get some more string. So. I had another uh, spool of jute somewhere, but I don't know what I did with it. But the chickens are really curious as what I am up to, and they are wanting to come in here and check it out. It's not too bad. It goes down all the way. I think that's about 16 feet that direction, so it goes pretty far. That's good. This whole run is about, I think, 20, yeah, it's 25 feet long. So there they go, checking it out. You have to see everything. Everything they're nosy little boogers. All right, this stuff is uh thin. Uh, it might break if one of the turkeys jumped on it, even, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm just going to try to get it put on here as a deterrent. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna cross under over here and get this so it'll deter them a little more. So I mean, every little bit helps. I should have went that way, maybe. I think I will. Then over here. Okay. Then to the top. I'm going to run that a couple times. I think that'll deter them quite a bit. Then to this one, about right here. Uh, nice about 41 degrees out so it's not too bad working out here today could be a lot worse that's for sure I think right, right here as a matter of fact I'm going to take that off and put this back up here on top of the hook that'll help secure everything else to stay as a matter of fact 
on there and I think that's pretty good. I don't think they're gonna get out. There's too much stuff in their way. And I'll go around the other side so you can see this mess. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> it is what it is, people. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around. There you go. That is the spider's web. But hey, nothing can get in there now. So there's this spot here, but that's too close to the building and they're not gonna get in there. See, that's just like a one foot gap anyway. So that's cool and everything is underneath uh, where they can run and they can't get out anymore. And I don't think they can roost up here in the corner anymore. They were getting up on this fence here at the end, this like right there and roosting. So now, as you can see, they cannot do that anywhere. I've not seen my little Ruby yet. Have you seen Ruby? Ugh, hope she's still with us. It worries me. We'll see if we can find her. Okay, guys, we got them all in. I don't know if you can see Ruby. You see, she's back there in the corner. Should we just ran her in? That little one right there. <laughs> she's my little Bantam. On the other side of Virgil, she's hiding herself. Let's see if I can find her. There she is. There you go. There she is. That's the one I was worried about. She's my favorite. So, seems like we're missing one black hen. So, we will see what we can find out. Kane says we're missing one. We'll have to see. I'll have to count them all and figure it out. Right, Virgil? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just going through and reinforcing it. As you can see, when we went to run uh, Ruby in there, she jumped over the end of the fence and jumped in. So, <laughs> trying to make these little gaps a little smaller. We gotta make sure we do what we can do. And there's tons of vultures and uh, hawks and shoot everything around here. So we gotta be pretty vigilant. And if it wasn't for my life being kinda so many things going on right now, um, I would have had this done a while ago, but you know, people come first and the animals, as long as they're fed and healthy, and happy in the good weather. As soon as it gets bad, we'll make sure we get everything handled and taken care of before it gets real extremely bad. I'm gonna have to go inside and get that one spot there. Probably put two or three. Let's see. Okay. That's good enough for now. I gotta get this done so I can get out of here. These guys are gonna get angry birds after a while because they're gonna realize, look, we're stuck in here. We can't get out. Right, guys? <laughs> all right, guys. They're all in there, and they're happy. We're not missing any. King just miscounted. We're good. Got them in there in time. That way, we won't have any trouble. So, they will probably be really mad at me by this afternoon because they won't be out any, but that's just the way it goes. That's it for me today, you guys. I'm gonna go in and get a cup of coffee. My legs keep cramping up because they're too cold and I can barely talk because my mouth's so cold. But anyway, I got the whole thing secured so they can't get out anymore. I've got fresh bedding in there. We've got a light so they can see. I am gonna go back out there and get their food pail thing, whatever dish, and put it inside so that they will go in there. Probably about five o'clock because the sun goes down here at 515, so. That's what we're going to do and finish the day out and get these guys all locked up and then I'll come out in the morning and let them out. So we're good. No more, no more Virgil in the road. Hey, <laughs> bye. Cleaned that out. So it's got everything set where it needs to be. All the rungs are in place. The lights on in here. They got plenty of light. They're good. They should be good. Plenty of bedding. I secured the door. I secured that so they can get up there without a problem. Kane's getting some water in the other water because Ruby can't drink out of the deep dish. So we have to get a shallow water so that she can drink as well. So anyway, that's it. And uh, I guess you guys, everything's looking good. I think these guys are happy. See, they're all staring at me like, why'd you go and do that for? <laughs> They'll be happy tonight though when they go in, so. They'll be good then. Okay, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, we got all done out there, and right now it's 6.30. Um, we were almost finished, and Ruby jumped up to the top and got right out. Had to grab hold of her real quick while she was coming out of this one spot. So 
we had to spend a whole nother hour out there getting that whole thing done. So we finally got it finished. So I am not going to be putting out the candy video tonight, but I will have it done tomorrow. So just wanted to let you know about that. I will do it tomorrow, but right now my legs are frozen. I'm frozen. It's snowing outside and I'm done for the day. So I just want to say happy holidays. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. At least I got my video out today. You guys take care. Bye.